And welcome back, folks, to another exciting episode of Skyrim. Well, we are right before this strange little encampment. And I just noticed something. I did not put the game on difficult, which I was kind of wanting to do. So let's quickly change that. We'll see what happens over here. Hey, dude. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Okay, I guess these are these are rebels. That's fine then. I shouldn't be in trouble with them at all. I long to be out there with my brothers, waging war against the Empire. Why aren't you? I notice they have the uh, they have the same helmets as the White Run guards, but their armor is different. Hey, oh, looks like we gotta. Oh, can I help this guy? Doesn't seem like it. Ooh. Okay, hmm. Legion soldiers gleam like fresh fallen snow and clank like a kitchen. They head this way, we'll know it. I'll fight the entire Legion myself if they dare show their faces here. He looks important with that helmet and what, but uh, I can't really talk to him. Hey, maybe I can take some stuff. Huh, oh, why not? They don't seem to mind. Don't need that. Hey! Fight or die well. Who are you? We'll show those faithless dogs who this land belongs to. Sean's car head smasher. Okay. At first they called us that to belittle our cause. But we gladly accept being named for Ulfric Stormcloak. The only true High King of Skyrim. We are the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. And Ulfric. He is the truest of us all. We fight to make our land great once more. To raise up strong, noble thanes. And lay low false jarls and the cowards who hide behind them. The sound of our fury is a storm about to break on the heads of our enemies. Our friendship, a cloak of true brotherhood for all who would wear it. Hmm. Interesting, but uh, I don't know if I should really get involved with that. How uh, how does one join the Stormcloaks? Ulfric's not running a social club. You don't join anything. Either you're a true son of Skyrim, or you're not. If you are, then you make your way to Windhelm and talk to the man himself. If you're not, well, friend, you'd best walk away before this gets ugly. Huh. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, soldiers gleam like yeah, 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 I heard that before. I'll fight the entire legion myself if they, dare they all seem to face. say pretty much the same stuff. Um, don't need any of that stuff. <laughs> now, strange thing here is, um, he did not even acknowledge that I'm actually a Breton and not, not even a Nord, so. How could I be a true son of um, a true son of of Skyrim? I mean, I, I'm basically not from around here, aren't I? Well, let's try and get towards those grey beards now. Boost! Gotta remember to use that scream or uh, shout every now and then, especially on enemies, I guess. Oh, this guy can really run up a mountain. That's uh, quite impressive. Alright. Where's Lydia? Hmm. Well, maybe it maybe it's not that bad that she isn't around right now because uh she's a bit of a loose gun, isn't she? Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, guess we I'm getting into the snowy areas now. No creatures around, no no bandits, no enemies. Interesting. Are we really supposed to climb this entire mountain? Looks almost like it. Some kind of tower up there if the compass is to be believed. Alright. Hmm. 
All right. Well, we are getting somewhere. Wow, this is impressive looking. And the 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 peak itself is is covered in clouds. We seem to be getting pretty close. Hmm. It's a bit empty here, to be honest. But the uh, the nature is nice, I guess. What's that? Oh, it's a it's a goat, mountain goat. Okay, maybe I can eat it. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, it's too fast for me. I guess it gets to live another day. Hey, who are you? Oh, it's Lydia. Alright. I don't know how she caught up to me, but uh, that's fine. Right. Why are we getting downhill again? I, I don't think I'm supposed to go further downhill. Right. Well, maybe we can get another one of those. Come on, I need some food here. Yeah, there we go. That's something. Oh, we don't get any food out of it. Just some hide. Okay, that's fine too. How do I get up there? Seem to be going further away now. So I need to somehow uh, loop back around, I suppose. This might work. Although, no, this doesn't look good. So I might actually go down into the valley and then yeah, cross the river and then go up on the other side. Seems like a long way to go, but uh, also might be the only way to go. What? Oh, something over there is attacking me. Well, let's get over there and uh, try to kill it. What's that thing? Looks almost like a gorilla or something. It's a troll, okay. Whoa. Whoa, that's, uh, that's fast. And it's also able to uh, recharge on health. I don't seem to be doing any damage to it. Well, in that case, I think we're, we're just gonna run past it for now. There's no reason to fight it at this point in time. Lydia, just keep going. Let's try and make it to the Greybeards. Another goat. Hmm. You know, I'm not that powerful yet. Maybe I shouldn't have increased uh, the difficulty right away, but uh, I don't know. I want it to be a bit more challenging. Especially that the fight so far were surprisingly easy, huh? Ivar dead. Oh, you're a traveler. You must have so much to tell about the world outside this boring town. Huh. Okay. Have anything interesting to tell me? Can you tell me something about High Hrothgar? The Greybeards are a strange bunch. I heard they lived their entire life without uttering a single word. Can you even imagine? Hmm. Okay. Thanks for I that. I wish I could go with you. <sighs> okay. That's too bad. Ooh, jeez. Just pick that up. And steal some eggs while we're here. Yeah, Lydia, don't don't look look, look at me like that. Okay, so where am I going now? I thought this was where I was supposed to go. Maybe I'm following the wrong uh, the wrong indicator. Let's check the map. Oh, so that's where I have to go. I have to get 
exactly up to the uh, to the to the peak somehow. The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. Interesting. Well, can you tell me how to get there, maybe? Hmm. What's that thing? Looks almost like a hobbit's house or something. The barrow. Oh. Is that one of the old ruins? I would think so. It's strange that it's open like that. Okay, it's just open like that. Hmm. I guess we might as well explore it because uh, we do need enough money to uh, to buy a house. So yeah, might as well try to find some treasure, I guess, while we're here. I'm fully expecting to be fighting more Draugr down here, but uh, we do have Lydia with us, so that's uh, gonna be helpful, I think. Ooh, that looks awesome. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, well, he got a soul gem out of it, so that's something. Damaged books, those aren't worth anything. Hmm. So somebody is down here because all the all the uh, um, all the fires are lit. But uh, I don't know. All right. Probably gonna close that Leave gate. This place. What? Leave this place. Hey, Vindelius. No, no, no. Talk to me, dude. Don't just. Ah, no, sorry, we gotta look for treasure. A bit more specific next time, dude. Before the ages of man, illusion increased. Okay. Again, we're gonna we're gonna read that later at some point, and I am gonna store all these books once I have a house. But uh, for now, I think we have to carry them with us, unfortunately. In here, some more money. That's good. We are still very far away from actually being able to, you know, buy that house. I think that's going to be our first priority I've here. Got your back. No, 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 I'm not trying to talk Let's to get you. Going, then. What's this lever do? How? Okay. <laughs> Does it stop at some point? Yeah. I'm supposed to like... Aha, okay. That's clear enough. And those do the same thing, basically. Okay, now we should... Yeah, there we go. Don't quite know how I did that, but uh, it worked out. Right. Where's that ghost now? Should be able to... Maybe give me some more information. Iron door? Sure, we'll try to open that. There we go. Didn't even break it. Ooh. Where, where's the trap? I hear the trap, but... Uh, I don't know what's going on. I, I think I think Lydia stepped on it too, and nothing really happened. Luckily, uh, it's a chest here. Okay, some gold and some gems. I guess we might be able to sell those. Oh, spikes. Okay. Well, Lydia, that uh, was very helpful. Thank you for pointing those out. Uh. Okay, it seems that there are traps everywhere here. But traps don't seem to do too much damage to me, luckily. Bowl. Or the bowl, I don't need that. 
Iron door, okay. Probably gonna go there next. But first I want to see what's in here. Balming tools, they aren't worth anything. Some more money. Oh! What a jerk! Okay, I need to heal myself, but uh, I think I can deal damage to this dude. With my axe, actually. Yeah. Okay, he uh, he turned into a corpse. He was a he's an elf. Okay, lockpick, spectral, raise zombie. We already got that. This one is worth quite a bit, so we're gonna take all this equipment. Who the hell are you? You aren't a ghost, then. You're just some kind of elf who pretended to be a ghost, I guess. You know the elves in this game have mostly not been that nice. I guess Irrelath is, is okay, but uh, other than that, most of them are kind of jerky. Alright, we, ha we have his journal. Morning sir. I've set up camp inside the barrow. This has to be the place. According to all of my research, the burial chamber should be located here. All I need is some, undistur some time undisturbed to find the claw. It must be hidden here somewhere. Another claw? Huh. Yeah, he just acted like he was one of the ghosts in uh, in an attempt to scare away people and have enough time to find the claw, but where is that claw? And is it the same one as, as the other gold claw or something else? Alright, well guess we'll find out about that later. The firmament. Okay, we don't learn anything from that, but I'm gonna take it anyway. Magic from the sky. Don't learn anything either. We're gonna take all those books though. Um, okay, alchemy lab. I have not used that yet. I can use the bear claws to do what? Uh, okay, um, let's let's just try something, I guess. Uh, let's use a, a chicken egg and some garlic, maybe. No, not garlic. Let's use a spider egg. There we go. And then craft it and see what happens. Poison of damage magicka. Okay, I guess we can we can try out these things and see what they do. Let let's test all of these ingredients that we have to learn what they do. Fortify conjuration lasts longer. Okay. Um. What didn't we try yet? Lavender, purple, and red. And. Ravage Magica, okay. Uh, salt, Skiva Tail, and Spider Spider Eggs we already know. We know all of them now. I guess I'm gonna try another bone meal one. Creation failed. Okay, that's too bad. Um let's just try this, I guess. No. Need to know what these two do. Alright, let, let's test this again. Okay. Ah, ah, okay, so, so it's basically telling me which ingredients I can use. Okay. No, it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Nope. That was a waste, apparently. But never mind, I think we we're gonna come across more of these ingredients and hopefully learn what they do as we try them out. Okay, so this this elf was here to investigate. 
I guess he failed basically. But that gives us the chance to investigate in his stead. So let's try and do that. Okay, looks interesting so far. Hmm. Aha, it needs a sapphire claw. Hmm. Let's quickly check his journal. Already had that one. Where, where's his? Here, here's his journal. D does he tell us something about where the claw is? Uh, pottery. Da, 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 da. Success. Yeah, it's just talking about turning into a ghost and scaring people away. Half a year. Wow. Hmm. He, he clearly became mad. Okay, he, he really thought he turned... He actually thinks he, he became an actual guardian of the... of the barrow. And he originally just wanted to to exploit and, and explore. That's an interesting little story he has there, but uh, how does it help me find that claw? Maybe it's not even in here. I mean, he looked here for 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 half a year, didn't he say that? So, hmm. guess it's probably not in here, and, and we're gonna have to come back once we find it. You know. Alright. Well, I guess we're gonna leave now. And uh, see about g getting towards uh, towards finding those grey beards. Alright. I haven't really used any illusion spells so far. And also no alteration spells. If I come across any interesting ones, uh, I will try them out, I guess. Oh, that reminds me, I do have a spell that tells me where to go, don't I? I guess I'm gonna use that to, to find the path to the, uh, you know, to the uh, Greybeards, because that seems to be a bit difficult to, to get to. Right. Ah, it's gotten dark in the meantime. That's fine. I don't think we have any need for sleep in this game. Where is it? Illusion? Clairvoyance, there we go. Show me the way. Alright. Uh, watch out for the chickens, don't hurt them. Don't want to get in trouble. Lydia really... I mean, her AI is good enough. Ooh. Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. I wish I could make my deliveries more often, but the road's getting dangerous. Hold on. Tell me something about that. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Can you tell me something about it? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of Bethuam, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Hmm. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Alright, what do you deliver to them? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Hmm, I see. Any return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. 
I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Hmm. Well, I could do that. I want to go there anyway. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Should I watch out for something? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Hmm, oh boy. Alright. careful up there. Yeah, thanks, we will be. I guess that's, uh, that's the way to go then. Maybe it's simpler than I thought. Yeah. Well, should we start counting the stairs, maybe? Hmm. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. Uh. Just count along, folks. Just, uh, just count along for yourselves, I think. Yeah, I'm sure it's exactly 7,000, I mean, would they lie? Oh, it's a wolf. Hey, Lydia. Lydia, you keep walking into my... into my axe, sort of. <laughs> that's At least that's my story. Do these count as stairs, as, as steps, I suppose? Two, six, yeah, no, we're not starting again. This is a beautiful path. I'd love to hike on something like that. Hmm. Let's equip something else. Somebody suggested uh, using a shield. Now well, we might as well try that out, I guess. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Alright. Not too sure about that. But, uh, let's test it, I suppose. Guess we don't need to use it just yet, though. Unless they spice it up with, with a couple more wolves, then this will just take forever. Oh, who's there? It's a dude of some kind. Barknar. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Okay. What are you doing here? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Oh, he's a hunter. Do you visit the Greybeards? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. I see. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. Did you hear the Greybeard's call for Dovakin? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. Probably that they want to talk to the Dovakin. Strange days oh, the never mind. Do that. I wonder what it's over so here. Nothing much by the looks of it, although we can look into the distance, which is kind of nice. All right, let's get back onto the path, I suppose. Yeah, this will take quite some time. But uh, at least we get some interesting views. Hey, where's Lydia? There she is. Yeah, her AI is good enough to catch up to me, but she just can't handle it when I uh, take shortcuts and the like. I, I think uh, she doesn't quite get that. Oh. Yeah, I still took damage even though I used my shield. Oh, I knocked him over with my shield, I think. That's kind of cool. 
You know, the silver ring, which we will probably simply be selling, though. Every little bit of money helps, I guess, in uh, in achieving our goal of buying a house. 5,000 gold is pretty pretty steep price. But I guess I shouldn't have bought all those spells and, and whatnot. Ah, more, more wolves. That was easy. So I guess uh, skilling stamina would be helpful if we decide to become a full-time warrior because that would allow us to uh, really use the powerful attacks more often. Otherwise I'm more limited in my attacks, I guess. You can kind of zoom out every now and then. But what's that? Oh, it's just another Steinmannskull. Okay. Yeah, that that's where what we call those things. Oh, they they lead people in the in the fog, or in this case in the snow. I mean, we we did see it from quite a while off. It's another shrine there. Can we do something with that? Oh, we can steal some stuff, I guess. It's all for the Dovahkiin, you know, it's it's uh, emblem number three. Strong... okay. I guess they are like little shrines along the way with history and, and legend and myth in them. Interesting. Right. Is that another one? No. Lydia is surprisingly quiet this time around. I, I seem to remember her being much more talkative in the past. Right. Um, is that correct? No. Oh, I, I gotta go up here. Okay. That's fine. Just got a little bit confused there for a second. Hmm. It must be cold here. Look at that, all the snow, the wind. So much for for getting any particularly nice views, right? I mean, with all that snow we can't really see in the distance at all. More steps, okay. There's another one of those little shrine things there. Hey, who are you, dude? Yes. I. Who are you? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. What are you doing? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Do you, like, worship the Crabiots or something? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Okay. That's uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, seems to be telling us a little bit about the history of, of using the voice and of the ancient Dragon War. And that Dragon War must be so long ago that many people stopped believing that dragons even exist in this world. I thought they were only legend. Hmm. Uh, I hope you didn't lose count on those steps because uh, I didn't count anymore and I really want to know whether there are 7,000 or not. Oh god, it's a frost troll. I think I am too weak to fight something like that. And of course Lydia immediately gets it, its attention. That's nice. Huh? It's not doing any damage pretty much. Let's, uh, let's keep going. I'm not fighting that thing. Don't have a chance against it honestly. Look at that. One hit basically knocked me out all the way. You know Lydia is... So far she's been more trouble than she's worth honestly. I don't know. I, I don't li I really don't quite like having AI partners along with you because 
they never really do what you want them to. Alright, I hope we're still on track here. Looks like we are. Hmm. Let's see. Sky children conquer. Founding the first empire. The dragons withdrew from this world. Interesting. Yeah, I'm sure Lydia will be fine. That frost troll will probably not kill her. I, I don't even think she can die, right? I mean, she got knocked down at some point, but uh, she got right back up. So I'm guessing she she only gets like knocked unconscious at worst. There she comes. Right. Another shrine here. What do we have? Jürgen Windcaller, okay. Uh, I think I'm missing a lot of the history of this world because I never played any of the other games. That's fine. It, it doesn't seem to be that relevant, honestly, but uh, I'm probably missing a lot of like references and, and nods towards the other games. Right, it seems like we are getting closer. I see I see a fortress up ahead. Oh, Tiber Septim Dovakin. Yeah, so Tiber Septim was apparently like my predecessor. Very good. Guess we made it. Okay, some life lessons there. I hope you paid attention. And that's the offering box, I presume. So we're gonna drop off the uh, the supplies if I can find them. Probably in misc, as in mis miscellaneous. Yeah, Climax supplies. So we're gonna. No, I. There we go. Put in Climax supplies. On the other hand, we are going to steal some of this stuff in return because I need some food and some potion. A dragon's tongue? Okay. Oh no, it's it's just a just a flower that's called a dragon's tongue. I was surprised there for a moment. Um, some more food. That's good. Da, 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 da. These flowers will just freeze anyway, so really doing them a favor if I take them. Right, and I cannot pick up one of the functional lanterns, that's too bad. Oh well. Does it matter which door I go through? Probably not. Yeah. Hmm, I'm very curious. Ooh, this looks ancient. But I think we're gonna gonna have to stop here for a little while. Yeah. Next episode we'll talk to these monks, so see you then folks. Bye.